Press the bell icon and never miss an update. Hello friends, welcome to Curious Panda. Have you ever wondered when somebody loses weight, what does it become? Where does the mass go? What happens when your body is in transition from this to this? Where does those fat molecules go? This question has been bothering me for a long time. The average fat molecule in a human body have a formula of C55, H104 and O6. That is 55 carbon atoms, 104 hydrogen atom and 6 atoms of oxygen. Although there are some molecules have combination like C60, H120, O6 or C36, H72, O6, something like that. So we will consider C55, H104, O6 as this is the combination of almost 95% of the fat molecules in a human body. So when you say you burn the fat, where does it go? What does it become? Some people say it becomes energy. Some people say it just vanishes out. Different opinions. Okay. But no. When something gets consumed in your body, technically it gets out of your body in some other form, leaving behind the energy which was binding it. And same thing happens with the fat molecules also. So when those fat molecules react with oxygen, they create carbon dioxide and water. And the equation looks like this. C55 H104O6 plus 78O2 gives 55 molecules of CO2 and 52 molecules of H2O plus energy. This energy in any form like heat, motion, growth or just energy to think because your brain is also muscle and it also needs energy to function. But important fact is this, that arrow is not as simple as that. This process does not happen in the same way it is written here. That arrow represents the whole biochemistry that is happening in your body. You know, to get energy, you need glucose in your body. So basically, this fat molecule first get converted into glucose, then it get converted into heat and carbon dioxide and H2. But that is the part where the biochemistry is doing its tricks. Have you ever heard about the term glucose metabolism? So what happens in glucose metabolism? You break the glucose molecule into CO2 and H2O and use the remaining energy that is left after this reaction. For every mole of glucose that is metabolized, 2870 kilojoule energy is released. Okay, so coming back to our question, so where does the fat molecules go? So let us do a calculation. So we have 55 carbon atoms, 104 hydrogen atoms and 6 atoms of O. So all these atoms in this molecule will be leaving out in two forms only, CO2 and H2O. Okay, so those carbon atoms will go and form CO2s, those hydrogen atoms will go and form H2O's and oxygen will be with both CO2 and H2O. Okay, so assessing by the ratio of atoms per molecule, we can actually guess the total amount of carbon dioxide and water that is released after the consumption of fat molecules. Okay, so let's do this. So carbon have the atomic weight of 12.011, multiplying it by 55 gives us 660.605. Similarly, we have hydrogen with atomic weight of 1.0079 multiplied by 104 gives us 104.82. Okay, so those six oxygen atoms has a different case. Four of them will go form CO2 and two of them will go form H2O. So taking that into consideration, 15.99 which is the atomic weight of oxygen multiplied by 4 gives us 63.998 will go with CO2 and 15.99 into 2 that is 31.998 will go and form H2O. So totaling it out will give us the weight of that molecule in atomic unit. That will be 660.605 plus 104.82 plus 63.998 plus 
1.998 that will be 861.421 okay now we can calculate how much of this will become co2 and how much of this will become h2o so for co2 we will have 660.605 plus 63.998 these carbon and four oxygen atom will go and form co2 and hydrogen 104.82 and and two oxygen atoms 31.998 will go and form h2o so calculating their percentage it will give us 84.15 percent of co2 and 15.88 percent of h2o so what does this represent this represents if you lose one kilogram of those fat molecules that means you lost 840 grams of carbon dioxide and 160 gram of water from those fat molecules that means those one kilogram of fat molecules will get converted into 840 gram of carbon dioxide and 160 gram of water so what is the conclusion the conclusion is that those 840 grams of co2 is exhaled by you and those 160 gram of water is simply excreted by your body in the form of sweat or pee so technically you, you are just breathing out your fat okay so here comes some confusions should i just breathe more in order to lose weight no that won't affect in any way if you are sitting in a chair and breathing heavily nothing will happen in fact you will hyperventilate as i have already told you those fat molecules don't get converted into water and carbon dioxide directly in order to do that first those fat molecule will convert into glucose then they will convert into carbon dioxide and water so in order to do that first you have to starve your body from energy you have to make it feel that it needs energy and doesn't have energy anymore and it needs it right now those fat molecules will come out from those tissues where they hide that is in your belly in between in your double cheeks wherever they hide and they will start the process of conversion so if you just breathe more this won't happen so in order to do that you have to work out okay friends thank you for watching this video I have added some links with more details on this topic in the description. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And please comment down below if you have any question which bothers you in your everyday in your everyday life. You can also leave a comment how we can make this video even better. See you later.